So mm-hmm. when it came to um, um, screenplay for The Fly and say Dragon, mm-hmm. those those big big movies, huge movies, yeah. uh, were they original or were they adaptations? The The Fly was a was of course a you know it, it was a short story first and then it was a a, a film. The um, and 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 the, the original film follows the short story, uh, which is he goes into the transmitter and comes out with a big fly's head, and the and the guy's human head is on a little fly. Which, when we looked at the film, you know, I said, "Well, this is kind of bad science and bad drama," you know. I mean, because suddenly you've got a, a an actor with his big fly's head on him, that you know he has no way to emote. And he ends up writing stuff on a chalkboard to communicate. I said, you know, that's that's kind of st- and and by by default, the, the 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 movie goes over to his wife's descent into madness as she searches for the tiny human-headed fly. Um, so that's where we came up with the idea of the you know just mutate the gene the genes and have it be gradual. Yeah. So that was an adaptation. Yeah. And then the the. Dragonheart, I had a young director who was originally slated to direct the movie. It was his idea. And he said, I've got this movie about a dragon and a knight. I said, I'll do it. Because I'd been dying to do a swashbuckler. Um, and um, he had the heart exchange worked out and the and the scam where they go to the villages and scam the, you know, team up to I'll slay the dragon and you'll give me the gold. And I sat down and fleshed out the story and got the whole, you know, uh, and that's kind of, you know, evolved the two of us fashioning the story together. And uh, and I went off and wrote the script. Yeah. And then how, how do things like that get optioned? You, you mentioned optioned earlier. How does that, how does that work? Well, this was already, this was an option. This was, I don't know, had it been bought or I don't know. But Raffaella De Laurentiis had, was connected to it before I ever came on it. And I think, you know, the, the original director sort of pushed me onto her, which for which I think she was eternally grateful. But, uh, and it, you know, and it, sadly, the young director, they, when they got the script, they felt it was too big a movie for him. And he got relegated to a producing credit and, uh, pushed off the film, which is sad because I think he and I saw exactly the same movie, you know, because we started out as collaborators from the beginning. So it was, I mean, I got paid to do that script. So I can't, I don't know whether she already owned the property or what, what the story was there, but it was, it was, it was beyond the option stage if they're paying me a salary to, to go write the yeah. script. It's, I mean, it does sound, it does sound like a minefield day working on those big budget films, you know, to 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 bring yeah. everybody together and everything together, you know, it's as you say, maybe it is it's down to egos, isn't it? In lots of ways. Of- well, I mean, this also it was took, you know, it's also the tech, technological problems. I mean, originally we we're talking Jim Henson and puppets, you know. I mean, because um, I think I wrote that script in 1990. It didn't get shot till 1994, and of course CGI had just come in and. And, you know, and there was a, a big problem with that because at the time, because it was fairly new and you had to figure out exactly how many seconds you were going to see the dragon on screen and how many, you know, seconds he wasn't. And blah. You know, so it was a very, because it was such an expensive thing, you had to, you had to budget all that. Um, so it's very complicated. I mean, th- there are a lot of reasons a film goes wrong. Um, very often it's ego, very often it's, something else but uh it's it is a a dicey thing and the bigger the the more money in it the more they are afraid of it i mean i remember when um when we had our first meeting with the 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 executives um about dragon art and i'd written the script and i was already it was already getting buzzed i was meeting people in the halls of universal that i didn't know or wanted to and at that meeting, Tom Pollock, who was president of Universal, burst into the meeting, which is something he never did in these kind of meetings, these kind of creative meetings, and said, the first thing out of his mouth was, who's Chuck Poe? And then when the, the day, the very day the script got greenlit, the first thing I heard when everybody else was celebrating was, 
we're sending the script out to uh, David Kep and Tom Stoppard because we want like 12 more funny lines, a dozen more funny lines or so. <laughs> well, thankfully, Mr. Kep sent the script back and said, you've already got them. <laughs> I don't know why Mr. Stoppard turned it down, but uh, I'm sure he had bigger fish to fry. There but, probably wasn't enough words. I mean, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I stayed on as the writer for better or worse. 